This is Faker Talk, uh, Ryan Lo from Toys TV. This is a long time that I didn't do a you know a Faker Talk uh, programs for the unbox in English version. Actually, is really really busy for this six months or seven months, and so that's why uh, I have to choose. I have to you know I have to choose something. It is worth to do a uh, English versions. Uh, even the X unbox. We, we, we need more resources to do the X unbox in English versions. You know, grouped, you know, several guys, uh, you know, two or three people one shootings and you know, two for unboxing reviews and comments. So it is not easy for us, uh, you know, we are not uh, native English speakers. But uh, we try to do something, it's worth to do. So that is the one worth us to do a English versions. Yes. This is a, uh, you know, Bumblebee. But what is this from? Is from, it's from VA. Okay. So uh, this time they change the size and the scale of the release date. They have been used for several years. It, it is um, you know, a new trial of Free A to have a different scale, different size, and different material in in action figures for for their um, you know famous products so actually so this is the metal composite uh, action figures not plastic so um, I'm not sure how many percentage of this is metal but actually it is very heavy and uh, we feel it's very cold outside so that should be a metal some parts certainly is in plastic but some parts are made of metals and for the size they said this is a DLX scale DLX scale that means deluxe scale so um that means uh, not not every character or not every product is same scale but it grows it grows for example if they're going to release the Optimus Prime in this bumpy movies uh, the size could be a bit larger not exactly the same scale in the movie but you, you should know that um, in all Hollywood movies uh, the scale is always a problem uh, in my point of view you know like Love the Rings you know the Hobbit uh, you know this different 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 races they have different size but you know the size is fluctuating you know the size sometimes is smaller and sometimes it's bigger so um, the scale is a problem but um, so um, so I think um, it might not be the right scale, in accurate scale for every character, you know. If um, so, it, 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 it could provide more options for the products and for the collectors to collect them or to, to buy them or to purchase them. But anyway, uh, we have to wait and see what is the scale or what, how, how large, how, what is the size of the Opt Optimus Prime come out when they release. But um, we are very lucky to uh, Twice TV to have this, uh, you know, this is a pre-production sample. So, so it's, it's a, it is already a production. That means uh, all the moldings and all the, all the things has been complete. And this is just um, at the testing period. So all articulations, paintings, uh, the outlook, the size should be the same. Should be the same or very, very close. So um, it's good to show this. I will show you some articulation and some function of this bumblebee. Uh, interesting. The first thing I want to show you guys is the new design stand for this DL X scale collectible series. Because uh, you know, I think uh, for the character of bumblebee, if we want to show it uh, with. Uh, different gesture positions and you know for a cool looking pose we should have this assistance of this dance okay so we should know how to use it and it is very easy but uh, there's a lock you know right now I cannot move it but there's a lock when I unlock it we can turn the angles of this supporting stand at the same time there is a joint here and 
you know that has been locked you know by this mechanism so uh, when we put this inside the hole we cannot move it it's good but if we want to change the angles we have to remove this to make different angle okay so this is two things I want to mention for the stand and it's very you know steady and strong um, it's good for free to make this stand specifically for this series but uh, I have some suggestions for 3A to change or give more articulation here because I cannot turn it here. Maybe I'm wrong. And press it here. We better, we better read a three tiny pages of instruction before you play with this. You can see the light of his eyes is blue in color and you can see the details it is not just a you know simple LED blue light but with details look similar to the one in the movie showing we try to turn on the light here it's good to do the button here so looks like that cool right I'll turn it off and you can see the button doesn't look awful right so you cannot discover it if if no one tell you this is a button and for the articulation of this battle mode bumblebee the ear can also be articulated but you should be careful I have to mention it again the, the instructions already saying that it is for collectors over 13 years of age but and I think that um, the collectors playing with this kind of model should have some basic skill in modeling or know how the articulation works for action figures and you can see the head can turn very good okay, okay before we use the stand we have to remove some parts from the figures like that and this and this clip can put into the figures okay, like that and then we can do the way like that so it's very firm it's very firm but you have to know how to lock that because unlike because I like the battle mode hand, so I use the battle mode hand uh, for most of the uh, uh, review of these videos. So um, first of all, the hand articulation, you know, wonderful, right? Ear and uh, also this this part have some articulations. Yeah, you can see that. I want to do too much here because I'm afraid to make it broken. And not, you can see the difference, right? For the fingers, we don't have articulated fingers, okay? We have, you know, special posture hands, different posture, like the relaxed one, the opened one, uh, the fist. Okay, so all together we have three pair of hands. Yes, and um, also with this arm pistol, right? Or arm gun, okay. And and I like to show you the articulation of the body, abdomen. There's three part. This part and the 
second part, third part. One, two, three. So make it a very good and you can make different posture without you know any difficulties. Yeah, I'm sure we are the, the first one to, to have this video review uh, in Cantonese, Chinese and also English. So I hope you enjoy these videos and um, so you can see all the parts. This is the normal arms, hands, face, smaller size, uh, door and the normal normal mode head uh, it is good that um, we have both head with all the LED light inside that means uh, we don't have to change or swap anything we just swap the heads and both heads have uh, independent LED light okay now I'm going to show you how to remove the head it's, it's not just like that very easy and to show you uh, I suggest you be better to, to put the ear in a relaxed position and to remove the upper part of the head. Yeah, just like that. So it's very user friendly. I try to do it here. Like, in the eye. I see the light. very good lighten up and this is the normal head you can see the details of the eyes Very user friendly. And I just can put it back. The normal head. Okay. The ear can also be articulated. Don't do it very rudely. You know, for this collectible figures, you always have to be cautiously, you know, consciously to move any parts. You know, some parts is very thin plastic. Uh, um, if you move them in the wrong directions it surely break yeah so and but this is not this is this is not the responsibility of the company you know if we want to do such a tiny part even if we use metal it will also be broken so so try to be a you know you know be a fair person you know, you know when you play with this so maybe expensive maybe a, a, you know a good looking or very detailed figures you should you should make your efforts to be more careful okay don't give it to your son and daughter below the age of 10 or 11 otherwise you will be regretting you know so this is not a choice for for children or kids or even for some careless collectors okay hope you uh, understand this and i'm not framing so the ears can be moved and you can see the joint is here if we use you know when you move the ear put it here it will be very easy to break the whole ear so you, when we use your force your finger has to be firm and tidy and use the force here you know i'm not a native english speaker so uh, forgive me if I'm not if you are not understand what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. That's alright. Don't just touch it here. Show you the this is the mechanism. So both had, had this internal structure with back, uh, I think it's with, I'm not sure if they including the batteries, I don't think so. And 
at the same time I have to mention that um, 3A uh, besides the ball joint of this head they also make another articulation here so all the figures you know the figure has can move into more different positions it's good for them to do so okay so we are going to show you another some you know hidden articulations of the armors so you can see that here there's an articulation here so it's good for you to do some you know extra position to to have a wider shoulder range and uh, you see this part we can do it like that so don't afraid to break it because uh if you have owned the old version of this bumblebee, um, uh, the big one has more articulations. So when you play with this new movie one and uh, smaller size, uh, you have to admit accept that some articulation has been reduced. But the, the feeling of you know the real metal is much much better. You know, look more a real life, real life like motor vehicle or robot. And uh, when I play with this samples, um, the articulation of the next is really really tight and strong. So um, I think uh, you guys don't have to worry. You know, even I carry one leg. If you to judge uh, one articulation, if it's good enough, is it good? If it's good enough, you can put like that. Some loose John action figures they will just throw drop. But uh, it doesn't mean that it is not good. But I just want to show you this articulation is very very strong and capable in doing any different strength gesture okay. and right now I would, I'd like to show you another dangerous job you know most collectors are afraid to, to remove or change something but I can tell you that if you're afraid um, it's no good you know you cannot enjoy it but uh, you just have to read the instruction sheet or to be careful observe what is the articulation where is it where is the strong point and weak point and then to do something smart that's all there's no engineering or design concepts you have to learn before you play with this collectible toys still it is toys you have to play with it don't have to be afraid and you know many many audience are always crying when we do the live video uh, moving them saying we are so rude or danger etc but um you know we we, we we are not intend to do like the way but um we have to show you something right so we are some there therefore to show you you would not, not like to do so right so we do it for you <laughs> so this is the arm pistol or arm guns i call it because i i did i didn't go to the cinema to watch the movie yet but um if, if I have to choose, I think this DLX scale is more affordable. I mean, both in financially or, or in the size, in the space, right? Okay, so I'm going to put it back for the normal right arms. This is a fist, hands. So just very simple because this part is is a round, round shaped rod, and this is a hexagon. But this is a usual way for the engineering to, to, to make two things uh, you know, put together. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Clapping hands, please. Okay. And I wanted to show you another thing is the articulation of the kneel. 
Yeah. There is some mechanism to hold the both arms, you know, the new arms to stick to the neck. So we don't have to move something back when we want to make different positions. Uh, I have to say the articulation is less than the bigger version of Bumblebee from 3A but this part is good you know for the feet you still have some different articulations I think this time 3A is really smart I don't know uh, the designs from the movies but um, you can see even if the body part has three different joints and we cannot see any you know, things strange with the articulation right we didn't see any ball joints exposed but we can see the good articulation of the body parts right so i think they are really smart to do that this part is plastic but the paint job is good it looks like a real metal okay really strong and the paint job is good uh some people or some holes in toys tv already saying that it is seldom to see one metal figures with a very good metal paint job on the metal part yes yes we usually seeing some many robots and many you know Gundam like figures, but uh, in plastic, yeah, good paint jobs. Some is very clean and tidy, and some is better worn on weathering. But uh, it's seldom we have to see a metal action figures with weathering and better worn effect. So maybe this probably the first time we see it. Yeah, and thanks for Brie to supplying us. To supply to supply us this uh, pre-production samples, it's actually this is you know very close to final products. So um, uh, the company is saying that uh, they are starting to ship it from the mid of January, but you know uh, you know, but not everywhere could have to to get them very quickly. Maybe some area the collectors have to wait for a while. same characters from the same toys company 3A so I hope you enjoyed this episode and hope you uh, could use this video as a reference uh, before you buy it I think you should um, you should get them in hobby store or anywhere else uh, for this final products uh, because uh, as I know that they are they are already in the production and they are starting to ship this bumblebee so uh, this is another change of 3A that means they are try to cope with the release date of the movies so it's good for all collectors because you, when you finish watching the movies and then you can go go out to grab one bumblebee to play with yourself and it is very good and interesting and hope you enjoy this this is figure talk brian no my name is brian no and i'm from toys tv 
and uh, support us and please like or share your videos Facebook YouTube and your support is very very important to us thank you um, and we'll try to bump anything new anything anything worth to show you guys all over the world thanks for watching bye bye